Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. As we know, loads are very important factor when designing the structure. In gravity load, we have dead load and live load. Dead load is the sulphate of the structure which will not change, whereas the live load is the moving load which will change according to the occupancy of the structure. So in this video, we are going to discuss about live load and live load reduction on floor as per IS 875 part 2. So let's learn how we can reduce the live load and why do we need to reduce the live load and why it is important to reduce the live load when designing the structure. So without further delay, let's begin now. First, let's start with the IS 875.3 class number 3. This is for imposed load on floor due to use and occupancy. First, we need to clearly understand that according to the usage of the structure and the occupancy of the structure, the live load will be keep varying. So that is given in the code. Let's discuss that. If you look into class number 3.1, it is given as the imposed load to be assumed in the design of building shall be the greatest load that probably will be produced by the intended use or occupancy, but shall not be less than the equivalent minimum load specified in table 1 subject to any reduction permitted by 3.2. So we need to use the live load according to table 1 and we can reduce the live load as per class number 3.2. Here is the table 1 imposed floor load for different occupancies. As we have discussed before, according to the usage and occupancy of the structure, the live load will keep varying. See here, occupancy, uniformly distributed load and concentrated load is given. First one is for residential building that also have the divisions like uh, how we need to use it for all the rooms, toilet and bathroom, corridor and passages, balconies, see balconies and all three we have to consider 3 kN per meter squared and for other things we need to consider 2 kN per meter squared. So when it comes to hostel, boarding houses, lodging. So in this kind of building, we need to consider different live loads. See, for storerooms and all, we have the highest live load as 5 kN per meter square. Cafeterias and restaurants, it is 4. Office room, it is 2.5. Indoor games, 3. Bath and toilet, 2. And corridor and passages, 3. And similarly, boiler room and plant room, we have 5 kN per meter square. For educational buildings, separately, the live loads has been given in IS 875 part 2. Next one is institutional building, assembly building, business and office buildings, mercantile buildings, industrial buildings, storage buildings, as we have seen, all type of buildings has been covered and according to the occupancy and usage, we need to consider the live load. Next, let's come into class number 3.2 that is reduction in imposed load on floors. For floor supporting structural member, except as provided for in 3.2.1.1, the following reduction in assumed total imposed load on floors may be made in designing columns, load bearing walls, pier and their supports and foundations so here the reductions has been given so if you look into it first one is for floor one there is no if it is a single floor there is no reduction that is reduction in total distributed imposed load on all floors to be carried by the member under consideration this is given in percentage see here it is mentioned as person this is given in percentage here number of flows has been given so for one floor there is no reduction zero percentage of reduction if it is a two floor then we can reduce up to 10 percentage if it is a three floor we can reduce up to 20 percentage if it is four floors then we can reduce up to 30 percentage 5 to 10 5 to 10 floors we can reduce up to 40 percentage over 10 we can reduce up to 50 percentage so these many percentage we can reduce according to class number 3.2.1 and if you look into other class 3.2.1.1 no reduction shall be made for any plant or machinery which is specifically allowed for or in buildings for storage purposes warehouses and garage so in this case the reduction cannot be applied 
However, for other buildings where the floor is designed for an imposed load of 5 kilonewton meter squared or more, the reduction shown in 3.2.1 may be taken. So, if the floor is designed for an imposed load of 5 kilonewton per meter square or more, then we can use this reduction which is given in 3.2.1. Provided that the loading assumed is not less than it would have been if all the floors have been designed for 5 kN per meter squared with no reductions. This may be little confusing for you. Let me explain you once again. Whether the load may be less than 5 kN per meter square or more than 5 kN per meter square. If the building is used for plant or machinery or for storage or warehouse or garages. If this is the purpose of the building, then there will not be any live load reduction as per class number 3.2.1. You have to remember this carefully. Whether the load is more than 5 kN per meter square or less than 5 kN per meter square, if we use the building for these purposes, plant machinery, storage purpose or garages or warehouses, then there will not be a live load reduction as per 3.2.1. So, this is clear now. Next, if the live load is more than 5 kN per meter squared and the usage of the building or purpose of the building is other than plant or machinery, storage or warehouses, then live load reduction shall be applied. In that also we have one specific condition which is given here provided that the loading assumed is not less than it would have been if all the floors had been designed for 5 kN per meter squared with no reduction. So minimum of 5 kN per meter squared has to be considered in all the floors. So in that case also we can go for live load reduction as per class number 3.2.1. I hope you understand clearly now. We have a clear idea about how we can reduce the live load on what percentage we can reduce the live load. The next important thing is why do we need to do this live load reduction. Many of us have not thought about why do we need to reduce the live load. Now let's look into the reason behind that. So let's imagine we are going to design the structure. So what we need to do, we need to know the details first. So what is the scheme of the building? What is the functionality of the building that we need to discuss with the client? Because some people says that we are using for a study room and finally they convert into a storage room or a library room. And if you see in that more load will come, more, they will store more items and then the load will become more. You have to discuss with the client before starting the design of the structure, you have to discuss with the client properly that what are all the purpose of the building and what are all the purpose of the particular room. So from that we can come to know what kind of load will come. So accordingly we can design the structure properly so that it will not affect the functionality of the structure. Now let's take an example to know why do we do this live load reduction on floors. Let's take the dimension of the floor as 5 meter by 5 meter. So in this 5 meter by 5 meter Let's assume that 20 people of 70 kg, they are going to occupy this 5 meter by 5 meter floor. So the total weight we get is 1400 kg, that is 14 kilonewton. So now we need to calculate the load per meter square. So that is 14 divided by the area, dimension of the floor. We get 0.56 kilonewton per meter square. As we have seen on the code, the live load which was given as 2 kilonewton per meter square. That is the minimum live load, whether it is a residential building or any other building, but the, the minimum live load need to be considered is 2 kilonewton per meter square. Whereas, whatever the calculation we have done, it is 0.56 kilonewton per meter square. So this is only considering the people if we consider some furniture and other things and all if we consider that it will come nearly 1 kN per meter square but on the conservative side as per the code we are taking 2 kN per meter square. So this is the difference between the actual load which is coming on the floor and the live load which we need to consider as per the code. 
ఐఎస్ ఎయిట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పార్ట్ టూ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ ద లైవ్ లోడ్ హాస్ టూ కిలో న్యూటన్ పర్ మీటర్ స్క్వయర్ హవ్ అవర్ ద సేమ్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ లోడ్ కె నాట్ బి అప్లైడ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద ఫ్లోర్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద రూమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బిల్డింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ర్యాడ్ కేస్ సో దట్ ఈస్ వై ద హో కోడ్ హ్యాస్ గివెన్ ద రిడక్షన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద ప్రాబబిలిటీ సో దట్ వీ నీడ్ టు కన్సిడర్ ద రిడక్షన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ వైల్ డిజైనింగ్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇన్ అపెండిక్స్ ఏ ఆఫ్ ఐఎస్ ఎయిట్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పార్ట్ టూ వీ హ్యావ్ ఫిగర్ వన్ విచ్ షోస్ ద లైవ్ లోడ్ రిడక్షన్ యాజ్ పర్ ద క్లాస్ నెంబర్ త్రీ పాయింట్ టూ పాయింట్ వన్ సో హియర్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లోర్ అండ్ యాక్చువల్ ఫ్లోర్ లోడ్ కమింగ్ ఆన్ కాలమ్ అట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్లోర్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద యాక్చువల్ లోడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ ఆన్ ద కాలమ్ అండ్ లోడ్ ఫార్ విచ్ కాలమ్స్ ఆర్ టు బి డిజైన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో గివెన్ హియర్ యాజ్ యూ లుక్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ ఫస్ట్ ఫ్లోర్ దర్ విల్ నాట్ బి ఎనీ రిడక్షన్ సో థర్టీ కిలో న్యూటన్ ఈస్ కన్సిడర్ అండ్ దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఫ్లోర్ రిడక్షన్ హాస్ టేకన్ దట్ ఈస్ టెన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ అగైన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ ఫ్లోర్ ట్వంటీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ దెన్ థర్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఫార్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ టు టెన్ ఫ్లోర్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు కన్సిడర్ ఫార్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ యాజ్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ఇన్ ద టేబుల్ అప్ టు ఫోర్ ఫ్లోర్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ థర్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ టు టెన్ ఫ్లోర్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫార్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ అండ్ అబౌవ్ టెన్ వీ నీడ్ టు కన్సిడర్ ద ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ రిడక్షన్ సి ఇఫ్ యూ లుక్ ఇన్ టు హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఆఫ్ రిడక్షన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వే యూ హ్యావ్ టు కన్సిడర్ ద live load reduction while designing the structure so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like the content and also share it with your friends super thanks button has been enabled in our channel if you want to support the channel just log in into your account and then below the video you will be getting the super thanks button just click on that and pay some minimum amount to support the channel also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching